Hi guys, I'm glad you are interested in my tutorial. I am Art Invader. I am a digital artist from Germany. I regularly post art and short tutorials on Instagram and TikTok. I am also an NFT artist. You can find my Art Invader Crypto Cat collection on OpenSea. Feel free to check it out. Today we are going to create this great crystal animation. On my YouTube channel you can find a Cinema 4D and a Blender version of each tutorial. In the first part of the video, I will explain how to create the animation. In the second part, I will color edit the animation with Adobe After Effects. Let's get started Arties. At the beginning, a few basic settings have to be adjusted. Select the physical render option. I use 1080 by 1350 pixels for the tutorial. This is the format for an Instagram post. However, you can choose the values freely. Then select 24 frames per second so that the animation is rendered faster. Finally, select all frames, as we will be rendering an animation. In the next step I choose an animation length of 6 seconds and move the slider to the whole timeline. Then I select a plane object. Center and place the plane so that it fills the whole render area. Choose 500 segments in height and 500 segments in width. If your computer crashes, you can choose a smaller number of segments. Then select the displacer and make it the child of the plane. Select the displacer and go to shading. In the shader window, select noise. Press on the noise image. There we change the following parameters. Under noise, select for on OI3. For global scale, select 750%. Enter 1 for animation speed. As you can see, the whole plane object is now animated. You can also use the deformer for other objects, for example spheres. In the last step, select 5% for low clip. That's it. Now we create the materials for our animation. Select a new default material and drag it onto the plan object. Select the material and choose Reflectance. Remove the default specular layer and add a new Beckman layer. Select Roughness 14%. Then set Specular Strength to 0%. Select Sky from the bar at the top. Create a new default material and drag it to the sky. Nothing is visible yet because we still have to edit the material. Deselect Colors and Reflection. Select Diffusion. For the texture, select Load Image. Select an image that you like. I use an old graphic of mine. This is what my graphic looks like. You are also welcome to use it. I'll link it to you below in the caption. Select environment. There you also insert the image of the graphic under the texture. Then select luminance and repeat the process again and insert the graphic there. Boom! And now we have our great color theme on our animation. In the last step, we set the mix mode to multiply so that we can regulate the brightness. There we enter 130%. That's it. Now we can render the animation. In the meantime, I would like to draw your attention to the fact that I have Patreon. There you can support me as an artist. You can choose between two packages. With the first package, 
you have exclusive access to all my Cinema 4D and Blender tutorial files from YouTube. In the second package, you also have access to the YouTube files, but also to my Instagram artworks. You can see inside the file how I work and what my tricks are. You also have access to my animations and 3D objects within the file. I will upload in both packages, several times a week new projects. Therefore, it will be especially worthwhile for you. Thanks a lot for your support. Once the animation is rendered, you can save it. For type you choose animation. For format, the MP4 format is best. That's it. In the further part of the video I will also show you how I edit the animation with Adobe After Effects. Cool that you stayed on. First drag and drop the animation into Adobe After Effects. The program automatically adjusts the format. Search for hue slash saturation in the effects window and drag it onto the animation. Enter 30 for master saturation. Duplicate the animation. Then set the blending mode to multiply. Then press the T key to adjust the transparency. Enter 20 there. Search for the effect edge glow and drag it to the upper layer. Enter 1000 for edge detect. In the last step we make a loop out of the animation. To do this, we first have to select both layers. Then we use the right click and select pre-compose. Then we go into the view window with the mouse. There we select composition settings with the right mouse button. There we double the length of the animation. In the next step we duplicate our layer and move it to the end of the animation. Check that there is no gap between the two layers. Now we select the upper layer. With the right mouse button we select time and then time reverse layer. If we now play the animation, we have a perfect transition. That's it for the tutorial. The animation is ready to render. Well done Arties! To make sure you don't miss a new tutorial from me, please subscribe to the channel. I try to upload 1-2 to two tutorials per week. See you in the next tutorial.